For the past 100 years, the Colorado Association of Realtors has been an integral part of the growth of real estate and realtors in Colorado. I'm proud to be the 100th chair of this great organization. Join me and other past CAR leaders as we take a look at some highlights throughout the years. The Roaring Twenties brought, brought on many changes across our country. In the early 1900s, real estate in Colorado had often been conducted as a side job or by land speculators themselves. On November 10, 1920, a historic meeting was held in Denver. Dozens of real estate brokers gathered to hear about a new idea, a state board of realtors. The Colorado Board of Realtors was hatched and L. F. Epic was elected to be the first president in 1921. Dues were only $1 per year. Right away, the state bylaws were formed for the new board that we still follow today. It promotes friendship and cooperation amongst realtors, secures uniformity in practice, standardizes methods for valuing property, maintains a standard of business ethics prescribed by NAR, and dignifies and exalts the name Realtor. In 1922, CAR's first annual meeting was held in October at the Boulderado Hotel with over 100 members in attendance. The following year, the Colorado Board changed its name to the Colorado Association of Real Estate Boards, as not all members at the time were realtors. In 1926, Colorado voted in favor of the three-way membership agreement that is still used today. It stated that anyone desiring to use the term realtor must belong to the state board, local board, and national association. The 1930s brought the Great Depression to the United States and Colorado. During these hard times, the association was mainly trying to stay afloat. In fact, there was a 50 cent assessment to get the association through the end of the year. Even with the slow economy brought on by the Great Depression, realtors managed to have a successful convention in 1931 at the Congress Hotel in Pueblo. The convention featured the first exhibit hall, and the evening speeches were broadcast live across the local radio station. The Depression era made obtaining property tax relief a top priority. At the time, Colorado did not have a sales tax or an income tax, and real estate was bearing an unfair share of taxation. On September 23, 1938, 150 realtors and their spouses attended the annual convention at the Broadmoor Hotel. The very fact that the Broadmoor was chosen was a sign that leadership felt that they were starting to come out of the Depression. Attendees paid $3.50 a night for a single room. Can you believe that? $3.50 a night. You think we can get that same rate today? Wouldn't that be great? The 1940s were actually very busy years for Carib. As the U.S. entered the war in 1941, there was a growth of military installations across Colorado. And although the average income for Americans was about $3,000 per year. Many were spending $500 on a new technology, the television set. At this time, the medium price for a Colorado home was about $2,000, and membership went from 150 members after the Depression years to over 700 by the end of the decade. During the 40s, CAREV was instrumental in forming the Realtor Washington Committee. This committee is now known as RPAC. Colorado was often taking the lead on national and political involvement. Around this time, the association also worked very closely with the War Production Board to help find much needed vacant storage units for war materials. After the war, housing was booming across Colorado as over 200,000 people moved here due to the growth in scientific and military installations. With this growth, the association started to focus on providing better education and resources to its members, and many of the new residents decided to sell real estate. The 1950s. Elvis Presley helped start a musical sound called rock and roll that had teens shaking a leg and many parents worried. At Carib, the Broadmoor Hotel became the association's permanent convention site for many years to come. The economy was looking up, but the festive mood at Carib was tempered by the ongoing battle with the Bar Association. The Denver Bar Association wanted to prevent realtors from drawing up any legal documents related to real estate. 
In 1957, the, the state Supreme Court settled a case in favor of realtors and non-realtors. This case was significant in that it shaped real estate in Colorado today. The median price of a Colorado home was about $7,100. In addition, Colorado was the first state in the nation to pioneer and enact fair housing laws in 1959. Ah, the 60s. First and foremost, our beloved Broncos came to town and Beatlemania swept the nation. Radical changes were happening all around the country as the Vietnam War led the creation of hippies and protesting. The assassination of President Kennedy contributed to the unrest. These political changes directly influenced CARAP. The most notable changes was the civil rights movement with the emphasis on equal opportunity housing. The Fair Housing Act was a third civil rights law passed in the 1960s. One of the major association events was the formation of CARAP Foundation for the purpose of furthering real estate education and research. In 1966, CARAP started to work with the Real Estate Commission to create the first standardized real estate forms. Our association continued to work regularly with the Commission to craft these forms to meet the needs of all parties involved. This decade of change ended with one of the most exciting advancements in U.S. history. Neil Armstrong was the first man to walk on the moon. A medium price of a Colorado home was about $12,000. and the end of the decade, our membership was $2,820. The changes kept on coming into the 70s. Polyester was the thing to wear on the disco dance floor. But to drive there, you had to wait in line at the gas station. And who could forget the dance Nixon had to do during the Watergate scandal? Here in Colorado, the Eisenhower Tunnel was completed. This tunnel quickly linked the Front Range to ski resorts, boosting the state's economy and growing our mountain towns. For Carib, basic education became a necessary prerequisite to obtain a real estate license, and the Real Estate Commission endorsed the use of our standardized forms. By the end of that decade, the members approved a name change and CARA became the Colorado Association of Realtors, or CAR. Ethics and arbitration proceedings were also being implemented throughout the association for the first time, and CAR built its first standalone headquarters. Membership swelled to over 15,000 members. The 1980s brought high interest rates, peaking at 19% and leading to a recession. MTV, Michael Jackson, The Boss, and Madonna ruled the airwaves, and parents worried again. For Carr, the 1980s was high time for political activity. This decade saw the establishment of CORPAC, which was set up to help elect candidates that support private property rights and other realtor issues. IPAC was also formed to help influence ballot issues. A median Colorado home sold for about 64,000 in the 80s. The 1990s were a time of relative peace and prosperity and major technological advances. In 1990, the Car Housing Opportunity Foundation, CARHOF, was established to help support affordable housing in Colorado. Today it is simply known as the Car Foundation, as we combined CARHOF and the Education Foundation. Most recently, the Car Foundation provided over $300,000 in grants to help with the ongoing economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and wildfires throughout Colorado. In 1994, the first CAR website was launched as the internet would quickly and forever change the way we conduct business and communicate. In 1996, CAR hired an attorney to answer members' legal questions over the phone. That was the start of our legal hotline, which has grown to include Legal Bites, our award-winning video series currently hosted by CAR's general counsel, Scott Peterson. The 2000s will be remembered as a decade of financial scandals, stock market crashes and recessions as well as natural man-made disasters. However, the year 2000 and Y2K came and went without the predicted computer failures. Websites and emails started to become the new way to communicate with our members in the 2000s, and by 2010, the last physical copy of the Colorado Realtor magazine was printed, and the magazine continues to be published digitally today. In Colorado, more than 300,000 homes went into foreclosure between 2004 and 2014. The National Association of Realtors announced that 2007 
had the largest drop in existing home sales in 25 years. Carr also opened a downtown Denver office location in January to provide closer access to the capital. 2010 started out with the country in continued financial crisis with high unemployment and a large number of foreclosures across the country, including Colorado. In Colorado, homes were in low demand due to foreclosures and Colorado experienced an all-time high inventory of homes. Other big changes for CAR included the formation of CAR Business Services in January of 2011 and the adoption of policy governance as the association governance model in 2014. 2020 was a year none of us will forget and it's yet to be seen how the COVID-19 pandemic will affect life and real estate long-term across the United States. However, after decades of advocacy, continuing professional development opportunities, and thousands of realtors walking through our doors or attending conferences, conventions, and meetings, CAR is still here, 100 years later, helping realtors provide the American dream of home ownership. In the past decade, the CAR Leadership Academy and the Colorado Young Professional Network was created to train and develop our future association leaders. We will continue to grow our member services and outreach, plant our roots, and grow our foundation to help Coloradans in need. The possibilities are endless for us all. We stand 100 years strong only on the shoulders of those who brought us thus far. As we reflect on our 100-year anniversary, we look back on our past with pride. CAR has been a vital key that has unlocked countless opportunities for realtors over the past 100 years. And in the future, we will continue to do just that. The path forward is not of chance. It is a decision. So choose excellence, choose opportunities, and let us make this year one of our best years yet. I'm proud to be a Colorado Realtor and leader of this great association. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. I am proud. I am proud to be a Colorado Realtor. I'm proud to be a Colorado Realtor.